Just months ago, Zipporah Malka was at rock bottom. Now she's a new woman. This is how she did it. It's a new dawn. It's a I'm new back. And I'm feeling. <sighs> it's cold outside. Good. But it's getting hot in here. I'm feeling good. I weigh around 70 ish. Wow. Going either side. I was above 120. So uh, 50 sort of, kilos. Well, about half my size, I'd say. Do you feel good? I feel amazing. I feel yeah. absolutely amazing. Yeah. The zenith of Zipporah from a very low start. From bed sheets to bikinis. From a 24 to a 12, I'm half of what I used to be. And there's no sympathy for her ex fiance James Packer, now the same size she once was. No one was that sad for me when I blew out to that. Everyone just called me crazy. And it was a depression. It was a, I, had, I went through quite a long depression. But, you know, that's pretty much lifted now, so... She was the it girl in the 90s. Model, actress, socialite, and heavens, a Channel 9 cartoon host. Warner Brothers movie world, Hollywood on the Gold Coast. Oh, and throw in a billionaire fiance as well. Oh, I'm having the best times. I'm really having the best times. She was mixing it with the up and coming. After the movie Sirens, her co-stars, Portia de Rossi's career boomed, and she went on to marry Ellen. And Elle, well, became an even more impressive Elle. While Kate Fisher seemed to be heading north before something happened, she changed her name, became a little bizarre. I'd really like to thank you all for coming. And she ballooned. Instead of rich, famous and, and sort of beautiful, I was sort of, um, you know, poor, um, hiding away and morbidly obese. There were domestic disputes in short-lived romances, a plethora of failed diets. Yes, I had lap band surgery and I had it removed, the lap band, because it didn't work for me. Even a food-starving stint in the jungle on I'm a Celebrity didn't shift the kilos. I've had a very, very strange life with lots of up and down. Right. And I know everyone's had their little ups and downs, but my life has been like that. Right. Then 45-year-old Zapora Malkar was told about this place. I was like, oh my God, here we go again. You know, more, more of this hocus pocus. But this actually, actually has worked for me. We were the ones who first showed you how this retreat has transformed lives. Let's jump on the scales okay. and see what they tell us. From those who overcame weight battles. Yes, I can. Addictions. Yes, Coca-Cola's not for me. Coca-Cola's not for me. It feels like you're stabbing me with a knife. And chronic pain. So you've helped me so much. We'll be forever in his debt. <laughs> Zipporah, at 120 kilos, was morbidly obese. I think Zipporah realised she couldn't keep going in the direction she was going. She had reached her lowest point. My relationship with food has affected everything. My relationship with my work, my relationships with, with a lot of people, um, a lot of people don't want to have a fat friend. It began slowly, walking and confronting those scales. Who can I blame for this? Can't be me. There were relaxation techniques. Go, go, go. Yes! And many sessions of self-hypnosis with therapist Mark Stevens. We take the old thought, the negative thought, and remove that from the mind and replace it with the positive thoughts Imagine you're walking through the supermarket and you see all those unhealthy products. You think to yourself, I don't need it, I don't want it, I won't have it. He worked on her triggers, a fractured family relationship, depression and loneliness. Zipporah did have underlying issues, emotional baggage, and over time, over the years, they continue to build up. And a lot of the time, food becomes the crutch, it becomes the comforter. All may say. While Ivan spent time on something she hadn't done in a long time, exercise. After that failure, 
she was challenging, but um, <laughs> I, I must just say, I there was, there was such, uh, just, a, just a personality. Is more challenging. Yes, um, <laughs> you are where you are because of what you put into it, and you know, win-win for Sephora. The kilos dropped off. I feel better than I ever have in my life. And that food and drink. These wouldn't be glasses, they'd be bottles, number one. Ah, no more. And I, I knew it wasn't good for me and I didn't care. I was, wasn't shaving my legs, I, you know, I di didn't have anybody in my life. So, you know, I didn't have to buy clothes or put, buy makeup. When people are bored or they are lonely or they're carrying around a lot of emotional baggage, these can become comfort foods. Particularly, she says, when your then fiancé is badgering you. I fatten well. <laughs> I fatten everywhere. Well, that's what my ex told me anyway. Oh, really? Yeah, he did. So well, she has now. little sympathy for the man now facing his own dieting demons. So I feel bad for anybody that is going through a mental health struggle, but at the same time, let's not pigeonhole. It's okay for a man who has a lot of wealth and power, but it's not okay for a woman who's used to be this, but has gone, you know, having a bit of a hard trot. But now, after months of sessions at the retreat, all that is behind her. It's not sort of like it's um, Kate Fisher is back. It's more Sephora has been born, you know. It's, it is a new me. I am at peace. She says the hypnosis on an app will be part of her life because... So losing it and the keeping it off, that's the hard part for me and I think that's the hard part for a lot of people. But for the first time in a long time, she is buying off the rack and back in a costume. This has been a life-changing event for me. You're feeling good. I'm feeling and really good. And you're looking good. Oh, look, I don't good. mind walking around, you know, with a bit of, you know, this and a bit of, you know, tight jeans and a bit of heels and a bit of this going on. I don't mind a bit of that. You've had a few offers. Yeah, and a lot of looks, and a lot of okay, and a few how's your fathers. Who knows, there may be a well, sexy look, sequel to Sirens. Don't get fresh with me, okay? <laughs> You're married. I'm married, Is this yes. kosher or what? That's enough. <laughs> Sephora says she's now the same size as when she was modelling and hasn't ruled out a comeback. There's more on Mark's retreats on our homepage.